Hey there, fellows. <laughs> All right, so right now autumn is upon us, and that means plenty of rain. And we've decided to make a set of tires for a lot of. In the past we've already made rubber for driving around in the snow and in the mud, but this time we're doing it differently. We're gonna keep things simple. As you can see, we've already done a bit of preparation work. And right here I've got some 6 mm screws and nuts, as well as a belt. We're gonna be cutting the belt up into small pieces which look like this. And we'll be laying those out on the tires in a sort of V formation, obviously securing the pieces of belt in the process. And as soon as we're done, we're gonna take a few cars, head out and do a comparison. So is this setup gonna work? I say we throw it all together and find out. Let's do this. Driving on some handmade all-terrain tires. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, so we've made it to the forest. Well, more like we left the city. I guess you can call this a forest. Anyway, so we've installed the wheels, and the weather conditions are very much in our favor. We've got some wet roads and some rain, and now it's time to see how these wheels work in these conditions. Time for us to have some fun in the mud. Let's go this way. Just what we need. They're actually nicely propelling us forward. Great. I'm loving this. For real. These tires have grip for days. Mowing a bit of grass along the way. Fantastic! I can pass you guys no problem. Okay, fellas, we are on the road to success. So these blocks provide us with all the grip we need. The tires happily propel the car forward. Especially... So up here the road is a bit drier. I'd say it's almost bone dry. So here spinning the tires is pretty easy. But in the mud... You roll into it a bit, step on the gas, and off you go with absolutely zero hesitation. Mud isn't a problem for this car in the least. These wheels have a ton of grip, for real. We got lots of traction, and nothing even flew off. It's all looking good. Let's go find a surface that's even more rough and slippery, and have some fun there. Let's do it. No problem whatsoever. Plows right through. Then again, you do feel that the wheels are slipping a bit. Going sideways, 
Cool. And we made it. That's nice. Still though, I like the way it drives. Look at this. We have got some interesting terrain in our parts, going over some wet grass, which you could never navigate in a normal car. But as for this one, these tires make it work. This is where things get pretty gnarly. Even a proper off-roader might get stuck, let alone a lot of. But here I am driving one through here anyway. Come on, buddy, you can do this. Oh, wow. It's as if I found a patch of tarmac. That was pretty interesting. Nice. I was taking it slowly over there. And there was a moment when it just launched itself forward. Love it. Okay, so we were almost able to conquer these forest trails. But here we ran into some trouble. We're looking at a pretty deep groove. I wasn't going too fast, worried that I might plant the car onto its belly. So I drove until the front end dug itself into the ground. Right now it's sitting nicely on the front cross member. And as a result, the rear axle is hanging in the air. The wheels are totally helpless, and we're not going anywhere. Which is bad news given our preparation. Nah, it's all good. We knew what we were getting into. Though we did kind of get our hopes up. Especially after how forgiving this thing has been so far. We could have used that path instead, but eh, whatever. Now it's time to call in a bigger car to get this one out. Eh, shit happens. The car is out of the mud. I'll take it from here. As miraculous as it may seem, but we've actually made it to the other side. I can't even imagine how the off-road guys will be able to make it out here. They should take the grass path on that side. Otherwise, they are screwed. They could also use this grass path.
That was pretty hardcore. Honestly, this car glides over the mud like nobody's business. These SUVs simply can't follow in our Lada's footsteps. They give up where this Lada prevails. It wasn't always easy. Sometimes I had to stab the throttle like a freaking madman, with mud flying all over the place. But it got through. These give you a ton of grip. Cheap and effective. Make yourself a set of these tires and go harvest some mushrooms or do some fishing. As long as you stay away from the deeper grooves, like the one we got stuck in, where it sat on the cross member and the axle and was rocking from side to side for a good three hours, I think. That said, this thing can tackle any sort of surface, be it grass, muddy puddles, whatever. I'd say this experiment has been a massive success. These tires worked beautifully. And that's all I have for you fellas. Watch us, subscribe, send in those comments and suggestions, give us a thumbs up. Okay, catch you later.